Hi everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to use the method of undetermined coefficients to solve a second order non homogeneous linear differential equation when the right hand side of our differential equation is equal to a polynomial. So let's go ahead and take a look at this example here. So we have y double prime plus 10y prime plus 25y is equal to 10x plus 5. And so for our first step, we're going to start out by finding our complementary solution, yc, and our complementary solution is just the solution to the homogeneous version of our differential equation. So the homogeneous version of this differential equation here is just y double prime plus 10y prime plus 25y is equal to zero. And here we have a second order homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is finding our auxiliary equation. And so what we do here is we just replace the y double prime with an m squared. And here we replace this y prime with an m. And here we just leave out this y and just write the constant term 25. And so this is all equal to zero. And the next thing that we're going to do is factor. So this factors out to be m plus 5 squared and this is equal to zero, and we have our two roots. So we have m1 is equal to m2, which is equal to negative five. And so here we have a case two situation. We have a case of real repeated roots. And so what this means is that our complementary solution has the following form. So we have yc is equal to c1e to the m1x, plus c2 xe to the m1x. So let's go ahead and plug in for m. So we have yc is equal to c1e to the negative 5x plus c2 xe to the negative 5x. And so this is our complementary solution. So in step two, what we're going to do is we are going to find our particular solution. And so what we're going to do is take a look at the right-hand side of our differential equation and take a look at its form. So we see here that we have some constant times x plus another constant. So let's go ahead and assume that yp is equal to ax plus b. And from here, we're going to go ahead and take its first and second derivatives. So yp prime is equal to a, and yp double prime is equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and plug in yp, yp prime, and yp double prime into our differential equation. So we have 0 plus 10a plus 25y, which is ax plus b, is equal to 10x plus 5. And from here, let's go ahead and simplify this so we can get rid of this 0 here. And let's go ahead and distribute this here. So we have 10a plus 25ax plus 25b is equal to 10x plus 5. And from here, let's go ahead and group like terms. So we can see here that we have this x term here, and then we have two constant terms here and here. So doing that, we have 25 ax plus 10a plus 25b is equal to 10x plus 5. And so what we're going to do next is we are going to set the coefficients on the left-hand side equal to those on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and start out with our x terms. So here, the coefficient corresponding to our x term is this 25a, and on the right-hand side, it is 10. And then for the constant term, we have 10a plus 25b on the left-hand side and a 5 on the right-hand side. And so let's go ahead and start out by setting our coefficients corresponding to our x terms equal to each other. So on the left-hand side, we have a 25a, and on the right, we have a 10. And so setting those two equal, we have 25a is equal to 10. And so dividing both sides by 25, we see that a is equal to 10 over 25, which simplifies down to 2 over 5. So this is what a is equal to. 
And next, let's go ahead and set the coefficients corresponding to our constant terms equal to each other. So on the left-hand side, we have a 10a plus 25b, and on the right-hand side, we have a 5. So let's start off with the left-hand side. So we have 10a, and we know that a is equal to 2 fifths. And then we have plus 25b, and this is equal to 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. So we can cancel out this 5 in the denominator and put a 2 on top. And so we have 4 plus 25b is equal to 5. And next, let's go ahead and solve for b. So let's go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides. So we have 25b is equal to 1. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 25. So we have b is equal to 1 over 25. So now that we have a and b, we can go ahead and plug this back into our assumption. So doing that, we have yp is equal to 2 fifths x plus b, which is equal to 1 over 25. So here is our particular solution. We have yp is equal to 2 fifths x plus 1 over 25. And so in our last step, in order to obtain our general solution, all we need to do is add yc and yp together. So we have y is equal to yc, which is equal to c1 e to the negative 5x plus c2 x e to the negative 5x. And then for yp, we have 2 fifths x plus 1 over 25. So this is our general solution. And so that is how you solve a second order non-homogeneous linear differential equation when the right hand side of our differential equation is equal to a polynomial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.